And good morning, everyone. Welcome to this day. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, and it is January 7th, and it is also National Tempura Day. I so we were talking tempura. about tempura, so yum yum. I'll tell you a little bit about it in just a bit. Yeah, oh, it's, I love it. Any way, shape, and form, it's great. <laughs> On our show today, Tony Berrien is here with the Hearing Well Club, and they have a meeting coming up. She's going to be talking about that, and it's really about uh, the meeting is going to showcase different types of hearing aids. Also, we have a couple guests from Laguna Premier Realty who are located just right across the parking lot from us. And uh, people on from the California Club, they have uh, kind of a fun event coming up. It's, um, the, uh, it's sort of an Irish uh, event with uh, great Irish music. No, it's, it's not St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be at the end of January. And <laughs> we'll tell you about that. And uh, then we have a guest on from a, a really interesting company called uh, Anoko site, and uh, they are uh, focusing on cancer, particularly lung cancer, and uh, it's going to be a, a great, uh, great to introduce them, and uh, they're up in the Bay Area, but they're moving down here, right, Lisa? Yep, that is correct, yeah. and uh, they're going to change, I think, the way that uh, some of our physicians and hospitals work uh, with cancer patients. Okay, so we've got two meetings. We have GRF board meeting, which will be broadcasted immediately after this morning's uh, this day at 9.30 in the boardroom. And then we have the third finance committee meeting, which is also in the boardroom at 1.30. All right, so Portuguese Jesuit missionaries introduced the recipe for tempura to Japan during the 16th century, which is around 1549. It is believed that Portuguese Jesuit Tokugawa Ishiyasu, founder and first shogun of the, oh boy, these are tough names, Togugawa <laughs> Shogunite of Japan, loved tempura. Since the Jenroku era, September 1688 to March 16, 1704, tempura was traditionally a very popular food eaten at street vendors tall, called yatai. Today, chefs all over the world include tempura dishes on their menus. They use a wide variety of different batters, batters and ingredients, including the non-traditional broccoli, zucchini, and asparagus, as well as dried fruits. Some meats, usually chicken and cheeses, particularly mozzarella, are known to be served tempura style in some American restaurants. Now, for sushi, sushi lovers, a more recent variation of tempura sushi provides a new way of enjoying the deliski. Now, it may seem like a new one, but new within the last probably uh, you know, several decades or so. So there you go. So Ken, what is your favorite tempura dish? Um, probably shrimp, I would say. Uh, in fact, you, I was mentioning earlier, Trader Joe's uh, has these frozen tempura shrimp you just put in the oven, and they are excellent. They are really good. But honestly, that last photo of the vegetables and the shrimp, I could have that for breakfast. Oh, that. That looks so good. It really does. What looks so good is our weather today. Uh, we got a little bit of the offshore breezes still there. Not much. As I said yesterday, um, that the wind was probably going to come up in the afternoon and evening, and it did, but it wasn't that strong in this area. The stronger winds were in the, in the Inland Empire and uh, Ventura and those areas. So we got a beautiful day today. Uh, cooler by, we actually got up to 79 yesterday, so cooler probably by about uh, five, six degrees a day, but still nice. But then look at the drop in temperature that we have tomorrow. What is that, maybe like a 15 degree drop in temperature from just uh, yesterday? We're gonna start to get some scattered clouds and now Thursday right now, the chances of rain are really kind of diminishing, but it's still in the forecast of a slight chance of drizzle. And I mainly put that up there in case you have something outside that you don't want to get wet, you know, to cover it or bring it in. But it's really not going to be that much. It could change, but as of right now. Uh, Friday, uh, looking pretty good. And then we're going to get over the weekend, we'll have fairly um, cool to mild temperatures. I think Sunday will be a little bit warmer than Saturday. And we'll have a mostly sunny skies on Saturday, a little bit more clouds coming in on Sunday. Let's take a look around Orange County. Beautiful weather everywhere you go. I, I mean, just gorgeous out. A little bit of those offshore breezes, uh, which is why Palm Springs and our temperatures here uh, are not much different. Again, if we get any little offshore breezes, it's only going to be until about noon today, but just beautiful weather. And then, you know, again, we drop by, you know, anywhere from 8 to 10 degrees tomorrow. So um, enjoy it today, although it's not going to be really cold. It's uh, just so nice today. Great day out. See you later.
I retired 18 years ago, and a good friend of mine says, hey, Gear, what the hell are you going to do with your time now? <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was a delivery man for Meals on Wheels. To the homebound neighbors he's delivered meals to for 18 years, my father, Homer Gear, is the real leading man. Hey, well, hello there. How are you today? Over 25 years, we have worked hard to make Brilliant Smile the premier dental office in Laguna Woods. We take the extra time to understand our patients' special needs and always perform the highest quality dental work at affordable prices in a relaxing and friendly environment. There is no need to refer our patients to anybody else. We perform everything from cleaning all the way to the implant and sinus surgeries all under one roof. Stop in or call and experience the Brilliant Smile difference. At family-owned Capistrano Toyota, I've been teaching my staff for years that we always say yes to our customers. Can you help me get financed? Yes, we can help. Will you walk my dog? Yes. Will you change our baby's diapers? Yes, of course. But they may be taking this yes thing a little bit too far. Come and see for yourself that at Capistrano Toyota, we always say yes to our customers. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner of Amazing Hearing. As an audiologist, I have the education and expertise to assess, diagnose, and treat hearing loss. Hearing aids are only one part of the treatment process. The way we have been taught to fit, counsel, and use hearing therapy is what makes us different. Amazing Hearing, audiologists with the education, expertise, and empathy to change how you hear. Well, today we have on uh, Tony Berrien of the Hearing Well Club, and a week from today, that would be January 14th, they're going to be having a really great meeting, and it's about, uh, it's basically um, a guide to purchasing hearing aids. Welcome. Welcome. And this can be daunting. I'm sorry? Uh, this can be daunting to buy hearing aids, yes. irregardless of the cost. There's so many different things to look at, so many kinds, so many options. And, right. that's, and that's what we're going to be talking yeah, about. Yeah. So the outcome, <clears throat> the outcome, um, if you attend this, is that you'll be, you'll be part of the process mm -hmm. as opposed to just being led around. You'll understand all the steps. You'll know what to look for. You'll know what to ask for. Yeah. And because you are contributing in that process, you will have a better outcome, as opposed to somebody who just um, uh, says, well, I'm just going to do whatever they say because I don't know any better, you yeah. know? <clears throat> and um, so you, we want to have the right instruments for you if, you, if that's what's needed. And um, you want it at the right price, and you don't want to get ripped off. Um, so there's actually a checklist that I will provide. Oh, so people good. can just follow down the checklist. And um, so, and I like to talk about who should go to this, because a lot of people say, oh, well, I get my hearing aids at the VA, so mm -hmm. I don't need your information. Right. Not true. You, you still take part in that process, right, in the selection, right. and developing a relationship with your hearing uh, aid provider. So it's really important that, that they attend this as well um, and get that information. Yeah, so. I think uh, it's so important, whether it's hearing aids or anything you're buying that can be quite costly. It's electronic device that is going to be helping you out, whether it's hearing aids, your phone, whatever it is, take the time to do the research. Exactly. And, uh, you know, you've talked about this before. Even if you don't have any kind of severe hearing loss yet, if you just, you know, a lot of people don't even know that they may have it, to go to one of your meetings and you start to gather this information. So when the time comes several years from now, you've already got some of that information. You've got to start. And things will change, obviously, exactly. with electronics. But 
you, you've got a base. Right, exactly. <clears throat> um, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before on this show that 50% of our population here in Laguna Woods has some level of hearing yeah, loss, yeah. and mostly disabling hearing loss. Mm -hmm. Disabling meaning um, they're missing information that right. they should have. Um, uh, for example, even somebody who has done the right thing, gotten the hearing aids, mm -hmm. they don't wear them at home. They say, yeah. I'm, I'm home alone, I have nobody to talk to, but you're missing signals like the water's yeah. running or yes. you know, the tea kettle's whistling or mm -hmm. something. You're, you're mm -hmm. missing those environmental sounds that uh, hearing them keep you safe, Yeah, keep you aware of your surroundings. And uh, so I, you know, I always put in a pitch for where are your hearing aids. When you get up in the morning, Put them on mm -hmm. and don't take them off till you go to bed. So. You know, you brought up a good point that I have not thought of. Being just around your home, even if you're alone, the sounds. I make coffee in the morning. I know I can tell by the sound every once in a while I don't put the, push the filter in all the way so the water sh goes all over. Well, I know and by the sound, uh-oh, <laughs> I did something wrong, or I know when it ends. And w even when you're cooking, the sounds of when you cook is telling you, okay, this is done, or it's time to turn it over, or whatever it might be. We forget about those things. Water running, you, you know, we all do that. I don't care what age you are. So you I've leave the sink incident. running. I've had an incident yeah. where I started the water to make it warm <clears throat> and then turn to do something yes. else and then forget about yeah. it. And then I go, I turn around, oh my gosh, the water's running. <laughs> yeah, but that's a very good point that I, yeah. I've never thought of before. Yeah. Just it's hearing the sounds, yeah. It, it is actually, uh, it's Practically a good idea, and it's a safety factor. Yeah, very good. Uh, good good uh, points that you're making on that. Uh, you know, of course, you don't have to be part of the club uh, to go to these meetings. It's $3 no. uh, no. for a guest. Uh, you do such good meetings because you're there to really educate people exactly. in many different ways. Yeah. And we don't sell hearing aids. I just, no. I, need, I need to put that out. We don't sell anything. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Everybody should come. Uh, if you live long enough, you will have a hearing loss. Yeah, you will, <laughs> yes. And it's, yeah. I, there's an old saying about learning to swim before you're drowning. So learn yes. what you need to know before you need to know. Yeah. And you know, with the knowledge that you have, you could actually help and guide somebody else, mm -hmm. a neighbor, I agree. Yeah. a family member. So even if you don't come for yourself, come for your aunt, your uncle, somebody you know, yeah. that has hearing loss. There's, it's very prevalent. People um, deny it, they don't talk about it. Uh, something really uh, <clears throat> interesting <throat> is the Hearing Loss Association of America has now um, connected themselves to the American girl. If you read about yeah. it in, in, the, yeah. in the register this morning. Uh, so apparently it's a doll. Right, yes. And the doll wears a hearing aid. Yeah. And the doll was created out of, um, uh, Huntington Beach, Surf City. So she's a surfer and she wears a hearing aid. That's not very practical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all designed to reduce the stigma, you know, of um, uh, the, the surrounding hearing loss. You know, there used to be a stigma when you wear gl glasses. Now, there was. You, now yeah. they're fashionable. Yeah. So, um, you know, wearing hearing aids is, is just an aid to get you through life just like a, a, a walker is an aid or a cane is an aid or glasses are an aid. Yeah. And uh, so what we need to do is we need to talk about it more often. We need to become more educated about it. And then it's, it's a lot less of a stigma. Yeah, good points. Again, the meeting is a week from today. So that's January 14th at the Performing Arts Center at Dining Room 2. And it happens at 1.30. The door is open and it starts at 2.00. You're all welcome to go there. Uh, members are free, guests are $3, and it's, it's well worth it. Um, Tony puts on a lot of good in meetings and in seminars. In addition to the checklist, I have a, a magazine. It's called The Consumer's Guide to Purchasing Hearing Aids. It right. is chock full of information. I only have 50 of them, so the first 50 people that come and sign in We'll get one. All right. Very good. <laughs> Always good to see you. Happy Thanks, New Year Ken. to you. I know you got to run, so uh, yeah. we'll be back. Okay. Yeah, it's true. And you know, our generation that we're raised on concerts, kids now, they're seeing kids younger and younger because of the earphones. Yeah, the baby boomers.
was very, very ill with uh, diabetes, fibromyalgia to where I couldn't stand up and walk. The chest pain was so bad, I was hospitalized twice. I totally would recommend coming here to Dr. Tom to avoid drugs and pharmaceuticals that really don't cure you. Now I don't need the medication for diabetes. I feel great. I have more mental clarity. I feel that life is better. Call today for your free phone consultation. The foundation of Laguna Woods Village is unique in the nation in serving its senior population, our friends and neighbors, with temporary financial assistance. Your donations assist Laguna Woods residents in maintaining their quality of life by providing help with medical bills, food, respite care, meals on wheels, and other emergency needs. With Village support, the foundation continues to help our residents. Can we count on you to donate? At Freedom Village Assisted Living, we provide loving care and support when your loved one needs it most. We believe in laughing more and caring more. Dining will be an experience, not just a meal. We offer opportunities to create new memories. Your family will feel like they are part of our family as we work toward creating an extraordinary difference in lives worth living. To schedule a tour and complimentary lunch and for more information, please call us at 949-340-8108 or visit our website, freedomvillage.org. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on carpet and 50% off tile. Plus, get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on carpet and 50% off tile. Plus, get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. Welcome back. Well, today I have Ronnie Andrews, who is the president and CEO of Oncosite, which is a company that will be coming here to Orange County from Alameda. Well, welcome, Ronnie. It's very nice to have you. Nice to be here, Lisa. Thanks for having me. So you have been in the cancer world for a very long time, and I wanted to have you on because I wanted to discuss sort of what it's going to look like here in Orange County. We have lots of people who are moving into the area uh, business-wise who are here to treat people with cancer. Can you give me a sort of an overlook? Yeah, I mean, I think we're at a unique point in, in, I think, the history of Orange County in terms of health care in general, but certainly in cancer care. Mm -hmm. uh, with the Leonard Institute just opening up at Mission Hospital, of course, you have Hogue, and now you have City of Hope moving in. We're going to have an incredible access to comprehensive cancer care, and it really won't matter whether you have a hematological cancer, which is a blood cancer like lymphoma or leukemia, which is really what City of Hope is really known for, mm -hmm. or if you have a solid tumor like breast or lung, you'll have a center of excellence somewhere within the county that you'll be able to go to and get academic level care right here in the county, right. especially given that most of these institutions have some affiliation with an academic center. So if they can't take care of you here locally, they'll get you to where you need to go. But right. uh, uh, you know, I'm very excited about where the county is, and as you know, I've been very active in that for, for a while now. So, mm -hmm. Right. Now, uh, City of Hope, as you mentioned, uh, you know, they have their facility in Duarte, and now they're building a very large complex here right. in the Great Park, mm -hmm. uh, and then Mission Hospital and, and all the other ones. Why is it that Orange County has become such a hub? You know, I think it's really two, two main reasons. One, uh, the airport, believe it or not, John Wayne Airport, it's easy to get in and out of. It's easy to get the people in, uh, easier than L.A., easier than the Bay, for sure. Uh, and I think because of the cost of living here versus the Bay Area, we're seeing a lot of migration of companies to this area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you know my first company that I built in the world of molecular pathology was here in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And we attracted a lot of younger talent here because it was easier to live here than it was in, in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And so I think the combination of, of just the general uh, understanding of, of where we are in the technology corridor between San Diego and the Bay. This mm -hmm. is a nice landing spot. Mm -hmm. The quality of life here is awesome. And I think that the traffic north of here and south of here mandate us to have capabilities here right. to, to keep people local personally. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about your company, Oncosite. So um, based on the current landscape for lung cancer uh, diagnosis and yeah. treatments, what is your company going to bring to the community? Yeah, you know, lung cancer hasn't changed in 50 years in terms of outcomes. And, mm -hmm. and I was, uh, as you know, I took some time off from the industry and, and we have, you know, 
declaring it, we significantly improved breast care and, and, and the extended, extended the life of women with stage two, three, and even four cancers. And, and we were very proud of that work. And all other cancers have had improved outcomes except for lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple reasons why. One is we don't diagnose it as early because it has a stigma to it. It's typically thought of as a smoker's disease. Right. We know that's not true today. We know mm -hmm. that, it, unfortunately, it touches a lot of people who've never smoked in their life. Right. Um, the other thing, too, is when you diagnose a cancer as late as we do with lung, because it's asymptomatic sometimes until it's too large, um, we end up not being able to treat it because it's metastatic, and it's a very, as you know, the mm -hmm. lung's a very vascular area, and that's where oxygen transfers with CO2. Right. And so if you have a cancer there, the cancer cells can easily leak into the, the vascular tour and then gets in and goes metastatic. And so. Right. One of the challenges in lung cancer is we catch it too late. In the early days of looking at cancer, we kept looking at the DNA in the blood of the tumor, and that was where we thought the Holy Grail was going to be, but the tumor has to be a certain size to slough off enough DNA. Right. So this company uniquely started looking at your immune system and how it responds to a cancer, and that's the earliest indicator of the onset of disease. And so our whole goal is to catch it so early that we eliminate the need for late stage care in lung and we're able to treat lung cancer as a stage one or two cancer and wow. therefore hopefully either cure it or certainly make it chronic. Well, that's, that's amazing. What kind of a test is it that you would be administering? We actually have three tests. One is uh, today uh, smokers spe specifically get a CT scan once a year. And, about 500,000 of these nodules, as they call them, are seen in those CT scans. And, and the reality is only about 10% of them are positive for cancer. The rest of them are not. And so unfortunately, because of those patients, and I think this is extremely relevant here in Orange County because we have an elderly population that's starting to see these types of cancers, and you don't want to stick a needle in the chest wall of someone that also has other what we call comorbidities. Mm. And so by doing a blood test and telling that patient you don't need a biopsy that is not cancer, we can eliminate the morbidity that comes with these, these procedures of getting the biopsy. Okay. And we can eliminate all the costs that comes with that as well. Okay. So that's the first test. The second test is a stage 1 to 2A patient today. We use hot lights and cold steel. We go in there with surgery. We cut it out, and we think we've cured them. And the problem is about 45% of those patients that leave thinking they're cured return in two years with metastatic disease. Oh, wow. And so before our new test that we're launching this month, you didn't know who was high risk for metastatic disease. Mm -hmm. And the clinical trial that we did to prove out the thesis of our test showed that patients that don't get our test and don't get chemotherapy that are high risk, they have a 49% chance of a five-year survival Okay. versus patients that get our test and they get chemotherapy because they're high risk, they have a 92% chance for wow. five-year survival. So okay. we're very excited about that test. We hope to obviously prolong the life of these patients because there's more great you know, therapeutics on the market with immune therapies and everything right. that's coming. And we'd really like to make a dent in lung cancer and see it chronic like we've done the other cancers. Well, that's great. And and I know that you're moving to Orange County we soon. Yeah. And so you'll be working with all of the physicians and hospitals in the area. Do you already have people on board? We do. We, um, it's, we're very blessed uh, because of the network and because of the excitement around some of these early stage tests. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, some, you know, Mission Hospital and the Cancer Leonard Cancer Institute has a, you know, one of I think one of the top you know thoracic surgeons in the area, Samar Kanan, and he's excited about what we're doing. So mm -hmm. he's going to be coming on board. We're obviously hoping as City of Hope gets settled here, we'll be able to work with them. The goal is to bring clinical trials here because okay. our test, because they identify early stage patients, pharmaceutical companies want to get involved and find those patients too, right. so they can get on these drugs earlier. And so we hope to bring a whole. I would like to say a whole network of pharma opportunities to these hospitals as well. Okay. Uh, it'll be good for the county to be active in the clinical trials, but it'll also be good for these patients to have access to those earlier treatments. Okay. Well, it sounds amazing, and I'm so glad you could share that with us. And it looks like 2020, you're definitely going to make a dent in uh, some cancers here in Orange County. Well, that's our goal. We're, we're we're very fortunate to have a great team around me, and we've got a you know we got a beautiful facility up in Irvine that we're ready to move into, and so uh, we're eager to, to 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 you know make Orange. County are home, but we're certainly going to be a global company right. and hopefully impacting care globally. So Excellent. Well, congratulations and thank, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And remember, if you want any additional information here on our show, you can always go to uh, Oncosite's website, Oncosite.com, and learn more about lung cancer and what they'll be doing here next here in Orange County. We'll be right back. Freedom 
Village Assisted Living, we provide loving care and support when your loved one needs it most. We believe in laughing more and caring more. Dining will be an experience, not just a meal. We offer opportunities to create new memories. Your family will feel like they are part of our family as we work toward creating an extraordinary difference in lives worth living. To schedule a tour and complimentary lunch, and for more information, please call us at 949-340-8108 or visit our website, freedomvillage.org. Hello, Laguna Woods. I would like to invite you to watch our new television show called Inspiration for Today. It's on every weekday morning right here on Channel 6 at 7.30 a.m. Saddleback Church of Laguna Woods hopes to start your day with encouraging stories, inspirational music, and lots of laughs, too. Remember, Saddleback Church meets weekly in Clubhouse 5 at 9 and 11. We would love to serve you a free breakfast and have you join with us for worship. Remember when life was simpler? When things didn't move quite so fast? And the world didn't seem so complex? Remember that? We do. And as the world around us has continued to speed up, becoming more complicated, and still a bit uncertain, we have managed to keep things simple, providing sound, easy to understand financial advice and customized roadmaps for the road ahead from tax reduction strategies and guaranteed retirement income you cannot outlive backed by the claims paying ability of insurance companies. We can be your single point of contact, a single call, a voice you recognize well, and a partner who can be by your side for the entire journey. We can't stop the world around us, but we can help ensure you're prepared for what's to come. To schedule a no-obligation meeting, simply contact us today. David's in jail? Where? Here in San Antonio, ma'am. I'm David's lawyer, and I'm trying to get him out of jail. Well, what do you need me to do? Why, $700, or better yet, send me a credit card number, and I'll get him out of jail immediately. When in doubt, hang up. Scammers will find family facts for an emotional effect. Oh, can I talk to him? I'm sorry, ma'am. He's in jail. If you want to get him out, you got to get me $700 immediately. If at all in doubt, hang up. It could save you from financial ruin. Welcome back. Well, we have some real estate news from you from Laguna Premier Realty. And we've got Claire and Robert Craig here. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Happy New Year to you. Well, Happy New Year to you. Yeah. Nice to have you on. And Claire, welcome. So let's talk a little bit about what happened for 2019. I mean, I think there's a, a variety of opinions. So we're just going to get it straight from you. Well, I think to begin with, for 2019, it was a great year for Laguna Premier Realty. Um, once again, we had record sales. Um, we are the largest firm in Laguna Woods, mm -hmm. and um, we had sales close to $100 million, $95 million. And we were number one in both sellers and um, buyers. Wow. So we, you know, listing is a main component of our business, but we were number one in the, in the buyers as well. Mm -hmm. um, our competition is um, Century 21, Home Smart, and Caldwell Banker. Mm -hmm. They're the ones down with them. So we're sort of a local... Um, boutique firm and we're sure. competing with the big franchises right. and we're doing a really good job because we really know this market and we really know our clients and right. um, we don't have to think you know with the franchise model and what they have we can really go and um, look at what the Laguna Woods residents need and people who are buying in this community right. and really service them. Right. Well, let's take a look at some of the numbers that you had prepared for us. Um, you know, if you could sort of break it down for us. Well, yeah, I have a slide that shows our um, dollar value and number of transactions. Okay. So we had $95 million of total transactions. The way we allocate that is we have $58 million for sellers, people selling mm -hmm. their home. Okay. And that was 152 transactions. So it's over a little over 10 a month. And for buyers, we had $37 million wow. of buys, and that's 105. So 282 total. Mm -hmm. And so the number two firm um, had 111 sellers and 76 buyers. Right. So we're pretty, you know, we're, we're, it's not a close second. I mean, we're, we're yeah. number one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get to the number four firm, they're dropping way off. So there's really three main firms that service, you know, Laguna Woods. Now, do you have an, I don't know, do you have an average age of who's moving in? Because it seems to me that there's younger folks that are moving in closer to the 55 as opposed to, you know, over 70. Um, yeah. Definitely. I mean, the 
uh, population here is aging in place, but um, we have younger buyers in their low 60s. Um, I sold last year to a lady, she was 45. Her husband was 55, so oh, wow. they yeah. want to buy while they're still working and can right. qualify. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, huh? Yeah. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting yeah. that you're seeing that. I mean, it seems to be a little bit of a trend. Do you think it's because maybe the prices, I mean, I don't really know. You can tell me the prices within Laguna Woods versus buying something that might be attractive to an elderly person outside of Laguna Woods. What's, what's the lure? Well, um, Laguna Woods is so well priced right now for Orange County. You just okay. can't beat it. There's other senior communities like Rancho Mission Viejo, but it's a big buy in there. The tax base is 1.8%. We have low taxes here, mm -hmm. and you just can't recreate this community in, in today's world okay. with all the land. Everything would just be high rises. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Crammed together. People mm -hmm. can't wait to turn 55 so they're eligible to buy. <laughs> they can't wait. It's great. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. And because you guys have been involved here for so long, you can actually help sell the community because you know everything about it. We do. Yep. We, right? we try we to. Here. Okay. Our, our parents live here. We, oh. We're Perfect. Very embedded in the community. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's let's move on. And you did you did talk about the market as a whole. You have another slide. What is that one going to show? Well, us? one slide. This actually talks about the market itself okay. and how many you know what prices have done in 2019. So a lot of people always ask us, you know, how many units are sold and what prices. Okay. So um, in 2019, we actually sold more units, and so. Um, six, uh, 797 units sold in Laguna Woods, and this is mm -hmm. MLS data. It doesn't include, you know, for sale by owners or people transferring amongst themselves, and that's what market statistics usually get reported on the outside mm -hmm. is MLS data. Mm -hmm. um, so 6.1 percent increase. Um, prices did actually declined a little bit, and so you can mm -hmm. look at average and median price, and they declined a bit, but it declined. Um, it, it was pretty flat. I mean, median and, and um, average numbers still has some distortion in them. So mm -hmm. You have to look at, at, at what they are. And so it did feel like prices went down a little bit. Okay. Um, listings are about the same as they were last year at this point, but they're coming down pretty quickly. Okay. So where last time we saw listings going up, and they did go up continually through the year because interest rates were higher at that point, right, right now uh, listings are going down, and they actually keep continuing to go down. So we actually hmm. think we're turning into more of a seller's market. We were telling um, our clients earlier in the year that it was shifting slightly towards a buyer's market right. or a neutral market, but we see not only in Laguna Woods, but in Orange County, we're shifting towards a, um, a into a seller's market. Okay. Buyers come out uh, February, March time frame. If the inventory is low, they're buying that, and now the sellers are competing against each other exactly, right. to get the few persons out there. And so you could see price increases with that. Oh, interesting. We see interest rates still supposed to remain um, slow this mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. or unchanged. And so we're actually expecting um, you know, the market to shift a bit. Okay. Yeah. And, and then in terms of, uh, let's just talk about some of your clients. You know, what would be something super important to them about Laguna Woods, like what are they really looking for? They come here looking for the amenities and they may have friends that already live here. Mm -hmm. They know people living here. Their parents may have lived here mm -hmm. and they want that sense of community. And um, I know the bridge club is really big. I've, I've sold homes <laughs> to people just yes. to come here and play bridge. <laughs> oh yeah, it is big. They want to play bridge every day. Okay. They can do that here. Okay. And the pools are great, the clubs. Um, if you're bored here, it's really your own fault. <laughs> it's There's true. so much to There's do. There's like 350 clubs now. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then one other one other thing, you know, when when you have someone that's a little undecided about maybe what type of home, because there's lots of different communities within Laguna Woods. Mm -hmm. um, how do you handle that? I mean, do you give them a sort of an overview or do you sort of listen to what it is that they're looking for and go straight to that community or what do you do? Um, well, we listen to what they are looking for, of course, and they, some people it's very price conscious, other people are really, they don't, they want a cottage style versus living in a three story. Okay. So usually we can pin down, you know, the 90 floor plans that we have. We, okay. we work with our buyers and listen to what they want. Okay. And um, that works out the best way. So excellent. And usually think, most people are very happy here once they get here. Exactly. Yeah, we try to create a lot of tools that will help buyers pinpoint. Okay. So I, I've got some questionnaires that if you answer seven questions, you can get the 90 models down to two or three. Oh, really? Um, and that really helps the, the buyer 
I mean, they're not sure what they're looking for. Yeah. Sometimes the, it helps the agents too. They're not sure. And so if you can narrow that down, you'll say, okay, here's the models. Then you can look on an inventory list and right. see what's available. Well, it's not like they can drive by. I mean, you can't just drive by and go, oh, I like that house. I want to buy in that community. I mean, you literally have to obviously get with somebody who yeah. knows the area because you can't go through. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, the yeah. guards do a good job. <laughs> yeah, they, they, when they that security just cracks yeah, down, yeah. it's true, People. it's true. Okay, so you have a you have a video that you'd like us to show. So, you yeah, ready just, for us to show that? Yeah, just to introduce the video, we, we wanted to show, um, you know, for sellers, we do a lot of tools for selling. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, you know, what I think important is for a seller is to, of course, get the best price. Mm -hmm. To get your best price, you need to, and you know, show what is really important about these houses. We do that through video. Mm -hmm. We do that through um, Matterport, which is a 3D tour, and through professional photos. And so this was an example. The seller really wanted to say, hey, I got a nice view. And I just I just redid this house, so I wanted to show what a really nice house renovated okay. in Laguna Woods does as well. So. All right, all right, sounds good. All right, we'll take a look at the video. It has three bedrooms and two baths. One of the features I like is a spectacular view, Saddleback Mountains. So come on in and join us. So, so I like the fact that you kind of see everything that's being done, and it's. I like the 3D model too, but I like this because it's more of a feel. Like I'm standing in the house, so I like it. Well, more people like video, so video yeah. is the number one way of doing it. The 3D Matterport tour, mm -hmm. I think, is for people after they've been in the house, they want to see different details okay. and and get it. Like, did that room have that feature, or right. what's in it? You can go back and look at it. Okay. Um, and 3D, the Matterport video will work for, you know, people who don't live in the area and can't get to the house a lot is what we're finding. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's awesome. I mean, look at the renovation on that house, too. It was it's incredible. Home. Yeah, and people love having the video of their home. They, when they're in escrow, they send it to their family, their yeah. friends. Yeah. It keeps that emotional attachment to the home. Yeah, they leave and then they're looking and go, I remember I did that because <laughs> I did it. I shot a video when I sold my house and then I go back and look. I'm like, oh, I missed my house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate the information. Well, and thank you for having gosh, us. Good luck in 2020. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And remember, Laguna Premier Realty is right in the same uh, parking lot as us. So you can always come to our area or call them at 220-1990. We'll be right back. Welcome to Village Television. I'm Lisa Hart. And I'm Ken Goldenberg. We're the hosts of This Day Morning Show. And today we'd like to help you navigate our YouTube channel where you can watch all your favorite Village Television programs. First, you will want to open your browser and in the search bar, type in YouTube. Or if you are using Google, you can go to the upper right hand corner and click on the nine dots, which make a square. And this will provide a pull down menu, choose YouTube. Upon YouTube opening, there will be a search bar for you to type in Village Television. Select the Village Television logo or select the words Village Television. Once you are on the Village Television's YouTube channel, you will have a few options. Videos, playlists, channels, discussion, about and search. To watch videos, it's best to know which show you want to watch. Click on the playlist. Here you will choose which show you'd like to watch. For example, if you want to watch this day, select this day. You can scroll down and look for the video you are looking for. Or if you know what the subject is about, you can use the search button, which is the magnifying glass, and type in the subject. To subscribe to the channel, you can click on the subscribe button and click on the bell. To view all governance videos, including Third, United, GRF, or VMS reports, go to the Laguna Woods Village website and then in the upper left-hand corner, click on the YouTube logo. 
And once YouTube opens, you can use the search icon for the specific meeting or report you are looking for. Thank you for watching, and we hope this has helped you find all the fun shows and videos at Village, Village Television. Television. At our new Memorial Wave Imaging Center in Laguna Woods, formerly Orange County Diagnostics, you can expect the same precise imaging, multiple modalities for your imaging needs, and the same friendly staff with medical providers like Dr. Syed Sharakni. The Laguna Woods Transportation Service offers convenient access right to our door, and we continue to provide the care and compassion that you expect from our new Wave Laguna Woods location. South County Lexus, we really are different. We're California's exclusive Lexus Plus dealer. Lexus Plus is a new way of doing business. At a Lexus Plus dealer, you can expect an upfront, negotiation-free, hassle-free price right on the vehicle. The same price you'll find on our website all the way through the transaction. South County Lexus, we feel this is the way of the future and this is the way the customer prefers to do business. South County Lexus, your exclusive Lexus Plus dealer. Different, just like you. Good other. They're having something a little bit different coming up this month that you'll tell us about. Good to see you. Hi, happy New Year. Good to see you, Ken. Happy New Year to you as well. I'm happy to be here. And yes, coming up this month, we have um, a program called Kiss Me, I'm Irish. Now, what are we doing celebrating Irish? Yes, I wondered that <laughs> too. Patrick's Day. Well, I'm not quite sure, but I have a feeling it's because we were able to nab this fabulous group called the Young Dubliners who were, I suspect, booked up for St. Patrick's Probably, Day. Probably, yes. So we thought we could grab them in, Ju in June, in, Ju in January. Um, but the Young Dubliners are a very unique band that, um, they're a Celtic rock band is what they call themselves, where they combine traditional uh, Irish instruments and Irish music with rock music. So it's a real treat having them. They're quite famous, and we're in for a great evening with this group. But we have kind of a double header going on this month because we also have something going on called Ladies' Choice. Okay. We had this last year. And basically, it's kind of like a um, Sadie Hawkins event, you know, where the ladies invite the men to dance. But um, what we do instead when, uh, when people show up for the event, if the men are willing to dance with with whoever, whichever lady would ask them, the, we give them a, a green carnation, boutonniere to wear. Okay. So that's how the ladies will know these men are fair game to come and ask to dance. And um, we have, uh, it's an opportunity for men who have not been to the California club before to try it out. That would be a lot of they're fun. They're guaranteed to dance. So we are definitely looking forward to that. So I, I, this is all kind of the one thing that's happening on the 28th where you're having the, the music and the dance? Is that that's am I right. right? Okay. That's so right. it's something a little different that it's you're doing. It's something okay. a little different. <clears throat> now, you know our typical format where uh, we're kind of like a nightclub yes. format. 350 people show up typically, and it's an evening of uh, fine dining, dancing, entertainment, um, and we have uh, a separate dance band. Uh, that would be the Larry Fresh Experience that will be playing before and after okay. the dinner and entertainment. And with <clears throat> that comes a lot of dance opportunities. And that's where the, the ladies get to go around dancing with a, dancing with strange men. <laughs> <laughs> So I, uh, I want to emphasize that even though this is January 28th, yeah. people can buy tickets now. And uh, on the, it's a little bit hard to put on the flyer, so I made it a little bit bigger. Now, this is for the uh, Irish event, and then we'll talk about the Neil Diamond one, that reservations are needed by January 22nd. That's right. You have to plan for the food. You have to plan yeah. for the food, and that's the reason. Yeah. And it is, um, as you know, with California Club, we have very fine dinners that yes, we offer. Yes, you do. Last month, we had the black and white ball. It was a formal event. We had lobster. 
This month with our Irish event, we have rack of lamb and a couple of other options, herb roasted chicken or uh, cheese ravioli. Um, what else do we have going on? Well, it's such a fun evening. The first, yeah. the first hour you're there, it's kind of cocktail hour with a little bit of dancing. The dance band starts <coughs> and appetizers are served. Then we move into the lovely dinner. Then after that comes entertainment, the young Dubliners. And after that, a little bit more dancing. So it's a great night. And for the money, you're oh, not going to find gosh. that anywhere nowadays. You can't beat that. It's, yeah. uh, if you're a member, $28. Yeah. Non-member is $33. And um, it's, um, you know, we do really work at trying to make it that best night, best night of the month. That's going to be a lot and, of fun. And it's not just for couples. A lot of people think this is only for couples. Why would singles go? It's not at all. We do have a large group of singles. And, you know, we have a lot of other groups that come, not as couples, but just, I know there's a tennis group that shows up and there's a hiking group that shows up. It's people from certain neighborhoods bring their whole cul-de-sac to show up. So it's, there's something for everyone. A lot of fun. And again, that's January 28th at Clubhouse 5. Yes. And you ask for cocktail attire. Uh, doors open at 515 and uh, it, it really goes uh, for quite a few hours. And again, please make your reservations by the 22nd. California Club of Laguna Woods Village .com is the website. Now, the other event, although it's not until April, you wanted to mention it, and this is a tri tribute band to Neil Diamond. This is a tribute band to Neil Diamond. Now, California <coughs> does has never done anything like this before. It's a special event. It's not one of our um, once a month things. One-time deal we will be at the Performing Arts Center. Um, this is a tribute to Neil Diamond. Now, there are many people that do Neil Diamond, kind of the pecking order of Neil Diamond uh, performers, but we have the ultimate. We have the best. His name is Jay White, and um, you can see on our, our um, flyer he here. Looks, is that him? I he, mean, he looks very much it. like him. He looks like him. He has the same mannerisms as him. He sings like him. He might even sing better than Neil Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say. But he is a fabulous performer, and we are just so lucky to have him because he, he does not perform for many clubs. Yeah. So we are doing this as an extra bonus for our California club people. Now, anybody can go because it's at the Performing anybody Arts Center. Go. Yes. And this is taking place on April 5th. You can buy tickets now, uh, 25 20 or $30. You have to buy that over at the uh, PAC. And you wanted to mention this. I said, you know, come back again with oh, this to, to remind people. Yes, yes. Because the Performing Arts Center will be closing at the end of April for remodels. For, that's right. Three months or remodeling. whatever it is. Yes, for quite and a while. And so a lot of um, things are happening in April. Yeah. <clears throat> but we have, uh, we're lucky to have an early spot on April 6th. Yeah. So it's a good way to start the month because you have lots of other good things going on that month as well. All right. And, and again, right. The, the wonderful... Irish event, that's happening not on St. Patrick's Day. It's happening on the 28th, and that looks just like a, a really wonderful It will time. be fun. The ladies love it. Gentlemen, if you're out there listening, watching, do give us, give California Club a try. We right. welcome new people. And wear green. Wear green. All right, pretend yes. it's St. Patrick's Day. Yep. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Always good to see you. Happy Great New Year again you. to you. Happy New Year to you and as we'll well. And we'll see you again, and we'll be right back. Thanks, Ken. and live your life with the Buzz Around XL Travel Scooter from Golden. The Buzz Around is fun to drive with a tight indoor turning radius so you can go just about anywhere. It's also so easy to charge and offers all day range so you can go further. The Buzz Around even has more leg and foot room for all day driving comfort. Be safe with the XL's ultra bright LED headlight. Plus the Buzz Around XL can be easily taken apart into several lightweight pieces. See for yourself just how easy and affordable mobility freedom can be. Did you know there are over 400,000 seniors in Orange County today? So where does a senior or family caregiver go for information and resources? You can turn to the Answers Guide, published by the Council on Aging Southern California. Answers is full of articles and resources to help you navigate the aging experience. You can pick up your free copy today at the clubhouse nearest you or at the social services office. 
the Council on Aging, helping seniors remain healthy, connected, and protected. Anyone who calls it a hobby doesn't understand. We know that a person's passion is what drives them. And that's why every memorial we create is a true reflection of the individual. Only a Dignity Memorial professional can celebrate a life like no other. Find out how at DignityOrangeCounty.com. If you truly want to make a difference, there's no better way than a career in California water, a dynamic, essential industry at a critical turning point. Water is absolutely the most crucial thing hitting uh, our Central Valley and our state. It's work that's so essential that people want to stick with it if they're in it. It will be life-changing, not only for yourself, but for generations to come. Through times of drought, aging infrastructure, and a growing population, the water leaders of tomorrow will seek innovative solutions to unprecedented challenges, helping protect California's most vital resource. We have to broaden our network so that we can bring all the bright minds together to solve a problem that has to be solved. It's a valuable resource. We need to protect it, and we always need people to do that. The water business isn't just about delivering water, moving it from point A to point B. A new wave of opportunities are emerging, from working in the field to a water quality lab. Shaping policy in a boardroom to customer service and human resources, tackling complex regulations or leveraging technology for critical improvements in water efficiency and sustainability. It's not just building pipes and pump stations anymore. We need engineers, we need those in the hard sciences, we need those in the soft sciences, people that understand law, understand public policy. You need the accountants need the rate setters. We need all types and all hands on deck. There's nothing more central to California's future than carrying on the water industry's mission. It's a tremendous responsibility we have in delivering that water resource that you can't live without. If you really want to make an impact, then this is where you're going to have the most impact. In California Water, you'll find a vast array of long-term, well-paying careers with numerous opportunities to grow and make your mark and new initiatives welcoming the next generation. It makes me feel like I can make a real big difference. If you think that this industry is a non-changing industry, that's exactly the reason why you have to get involved. That's why you have to come in to affect that change. It's only going to become more important as years go on, too. Why not be that person to take the water industry to the next level? We're going to have to be more innovative, we're going to have to collaborate more, uh, and we'll need a new generation to help us do that. The impact that your service will bring to public service and to water in general will last for generations to come. Parkinson's disease is a neurological movement disorder affecting an estimated 1 million Americans, including many under age 40. The American Parkinson Disease Association is the largest grassroots network in the United States, working to help ease the burden and find the cure for those coping with Parkinson's. Visit APDAoptimism.org today to find out how you can help millions live with dignity and optimism. Your action today will help APDA put an end to Parkinson's disease. Welcome back. Well, our Friday movie is called, oh boy, another thing I may not be able to pronounce correctly, Queen of Cutway. And it is about uh, a constant struggle of a 10-year-old uh, girl. Her name is Fiona, and she's living in the slum of Cutway in Kampala, Uganda. And her family, and there's world changes. One day, she meets Robert Kaneda, uh, a missionary who teaches children how to play chess. And Fiona becomes fascinated with the game and soon becomes a top player under Contende's, Contende's guidance. And her success in local competitions and tournaments opens the door to a bright future and a golden chance to escape from a life of poverty. Well, that's a nice uplifting uh, story. So that looks great. And that'll be on Friday, January 10th 
and that will be at 2 and 7 p.m. And according to Ken, looks like our weather is looking pretty darn good without any rain. And that is good to hear because, you know, I you think rain's great every once in a while, but I could do without the rain. So we have sunny with slight breezes today of 72.47. Uh, by Friday, we're looking at sunny and cool, 64.44. And then on Saturday, mostly sunny, also with the same 64.44. And then around town, we're looking at great temperatures. South OC 73, San Diego 73. Uh, Big Bear 53, so it's getting a little warmer up there. I'm not so sure the snow's gonna be any good. And then Palm Springs is getting up there 73. I needed it at least 82, so maybe we'll be looking at that in a little bit. Uh, stay tuned at 9.30, we will be airing the board meeting. So if you are watching our morning news program, program you can take a look at that. Have a great day in the village, and we will see you tomorrow.